Now that we can insert a record, let's see if we can update that record. So to update, we may need a similar system here. So I'm just going to copy everything, paste it here. So the only difference here is that the query should be an update. So the update query goes something like this. It says update the table, and then we say set, and then we set the particular column. We say column is equal to value, and then we put a comma, a column two is equal to value two, like so, et cetera, et cetera. And then you say where, now we're going to be using an ID, so say where ID is equal to a particular ID like this. So this is our update query, where we update column by column. Now, we're going to change this by getting the this table to replace that, okay? Boom. And then now we can't use this anymore because we want it to be column value, column is equal to value, etc, etc. And then we have a WHERE clause. And also, uh, since we are using prepared statements, we need to use a column and a column. So it's not column value anymore. It's just column, column. It's just that here we add a full colon and same thing here, full colon. We're going to do the same thing with the ID, put that full colon over there. Okay, so looking at this, what we need to do is uh get the id and add it to this array over here so first of all we get the keys quite all right because we need the keys here which are the columns and then we do columns implode now when we implode with these the thing in the middle here will look something like this okay uh, it's going to be, hmm, this is going to be a tough one. Okay, so first of all, let's just add commas to start with. Okay, so we add commas for here. So in this case, once we add commas, we're going to have something that looks like a column, and then column two, and then column three, right? Etc, etc. But what we want is on the second try, we replace things again. So I'm going to do a string replace on here. So uh, instead of column, it's just going to be a string. We're just going to say string is equal to that. And then I want to do a string replace. So I'm going to say string is equal to um, str underscore replace not repeat but replace so it's saying what am i searching for so i'm searching for the comma because i want to replace the comma hmm. yeah this is gonna be a little bit tougher okay i think this won't work because if we change this comma to because i want it to be equals and then column again the same value right here but it doesn't look like i have a choice here okay so no problem let's forget about this what we will do instead let's do a let's use a loop instead let's say for each data as key value okay we just need the keys but that's okay and also i want to add this id to that so i'm just going to say data uh, ID is equal to uh, ID. That's way that way it's part of the array. Okay, so data ID that. Then we loop through data. It's possible the ID could already be here, but it shouldn't matter. We just replace it. So I will have a string here and say string is equal to empty string like so, and then we just want to add things to it. So I'll say str is equal to uh, key. We want the key at that point, And then we want to add to it 
the equal sign, so key equals, and then we put our full colon like so, and then we concatenate the key again like so, and then finally we concatenate a comma like so. Okay, good. So key, comma, key, comma, that's all good. But then finally at the end, we have to release that last comma because there'll be a comma at the very end there. So I'm just going to say uh, string is equal to trim because you can use trim to trim any character. So if I just say trim like this, it's going to trim the spaces at the beginning and at the end of this string. But I don't want to deal with spaces. I want to trim a comma. So I'll put comma there and put the comma in inverted brackets like the inverted commas just to specify trim the comma that's either at the beginning or at the end. So that's what we do there. And then now the string is ready to work. So we have replaced, uh, we have trimmed, we have done all that. So now this string is going to replace this whole middle area here up to the where clause. So boom. So update this table, set the string here where ID is equal to ID. The ID will always be ID, so we can just add it there. The problem is it's going to replace the ID as well. So maybe what we could do is, um, what do we do here? I don't want to replace the ID, but really it doesn't really matter. It will work either way. So let's try this. Uh, instead of adding more code, if it will work, uh, why not just leave it? So I'll put this here, like so, and let's give it a try. But let's also say limit one. Uh, no, let's leave it out there. Because it's possible that uh, there could be many IDs dealing with, uh, there could be many records with that ID, but let's not limit it to one. Let's just leave it there. So return this query and then we'll run that query and then we'll put data there as well. So let's see what errors we're going to get in this case. So update, let me go back here. And this time I just want to update a few things. So home, let's uh, mute all of this. I just want to change the first name. So I'll put one at the end and say boom one like so. Now, in order for me to, I need an ID. So I know this one is ID three, so I'll put three over here. So I'll say instead of insert, I will say update. So three is the value and then data is AR, which is this array over here, just one item. So let's see if we add a one to the boom here. So if I now refresh the page, you see there is none of that. Refresh again, nothing. So it didn't update. So let's come back here and troubleshoot. So as usual, I want to echo the query. This is how you do your troubleshooting. So back here, let's refresh. So there's a update users set ID is equal to ID, where ID is equal to ID. So it did change something, but it just changed the ID. But why is this? Let's see here, data ID is equal to that for each data as key value. So it seems um, my array didn't work out. So let's see why that is. So right here, I just want to print our, the data, just to be sure that we have the correct data in there. So I'll refresh and you see there's a first name, boom one. So that's okay. It means things are good over here. Now, where are we having a problem? So the problem here is that we are saying equal to and we are not adding to the string so here we're just saying equal to this so every time it loops it replaces the old content so we must add a dot right there 
so that we tell it to add to the string and not replace the old contents. So I'm sure it should work this time. So if I now refresh, you see that there's a set first name is equal to first name, comma ID is equal to ID, where ID is like that. Okay, so you see now it has updated. Very nice. What I wanted to remove is the ID at this point because I don't want to include that ID there. So maybe if I want to remove the ID, what I can do is uh, let me remove it from here and let's uh, add it afterwards, after we create the string, right about here. Okay. So by doing so, we have that without the ID. So set first name is equal to where ID is equal to ID. Good. Now, uh, let's come back here. Let's change a few more things. So instead of just the first name, let's change the last name to add a, a two. Let's add two on both of these, like so. Let's see if that will update and refresh. So we have first name, comma, last name. So let's see if it worked, and you see it worked. Boom to bam to. Very, very nice. Very good. Okay, so so far we have the uh, insert, we have the update, we just need the delete, and then we are home free. We will have the complete CRUD here. Let's create, update, delete. Uh, what's remaining? CRUD is like this. Create, read, okay. So the read, we already have this find all, and then there's find where, etc. And then there's also just running an actual query. So we are good. Just the delete, and then we can begin the fun part. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.